So this is the problem number four, objective problem number four from ISI BSTAT entrance 2014. This problem says we need to form six digit integers or six digit numbers only using the digits two, three or nine. But they need to be divisible by six as well. So let us start this problem by making some observations at first. We can see divisibility by six. The numbers we need to make, they should be divisible by six. So as 6 is 2 times 3, we know that number should be divisible by 2 as well as they should be divisible by 3. Now when they are divisible by 2, the last digit must be a, an even number. This is the divisibility rule of 2. And when they are divisible by 3, the number is divisible by 3, then sum of its digits needs to be divisible by 3. Now from these two observations, we can conclude that the unit digit of the number we are forming must be 2. Why 2? It could be anything even. But as we are only allowed to use 2, 3 or 9, so these are 2 is the only possible option that we have. Now in the remaining 5 digits, in total it was a 6 digit number, the remaining 5 digits, we can either use 2 2's or all 5 of them can be 2. Why? Because 3 and 9 are already multiples of 3. So when we will be adding all these 6 digits, there should be either 3 2's or 6 2's. Otherwise the number will not be divisible by, will not be divisible by 3. So <clears throat> as the last digit, unit, unit digit is already fixed as 2, that in the remaining 5 digit, should be either two twos or five twos. Now let us make a few cases. So case one, if we have two twos in the remaining five digits, then threes and nines, how many threes and nines can be there that can vary. Let's say if we have two threes and one nine, and we already have two twos, so that makes five digit and the last digit is already fixed. There can be another case where we have two nines and only one three, or all of them can be 3 or all of them can be 9. Now, how many such numbers can be there for this case? Let's say there are 2 3s, 1 9 and definitely 2 2s are there and last one is fixed. So you see, we can consider this fact if n objects of k different kind are given where r1 of them are identical, r2 of them are identical, so until rk of them are identical, they can be permuted in n factorial over r1 factorial times r2 factorial up to rk factorial ways. Definitely r1 plus r2 up to rk should be n. r1 plus r2 so until rk that is equal to n. That is true. Okay. Now using this fact here in the first case we have two threes. So two identical objects. We have one nine, that is one object, two twos, that is one uh, two identical objects, and that one two is fixed. Such numbers should be five factorial because we are permuting five objects where we have two threes, one nine, and two twos. So, so it should be five factorial over two factorial for two identical threes and 2 factorial for 2 identical 2's and 1 factorial for 1 9 which gives us if you calculate it you will get it as 30. Next case for the next case it would be the exactly same thing because there are 2 identical 9, 2 identical 2's and 1 3 so it would be 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 1 factorial which is 30 again. And now if we have all of them are 3 means all the remaining digits are 3 then means there are 2 more 2's uh, there. So there will be 5 factorial over 2 factorial because 2 identical 2's and 3 factorial. So if we calculate that number that will be uh, evaluated as 
10 and similarly when all the remaining three numbers are 9 so it will be 10 as well and in case 2 we can have all of them are 2 all five digits are 2 and the last one is also 2 so there exists only one such number and then the total of such numbers we can get is 30 plus 30 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 which makes it 81 and that is our final answer. Goodbye until we meet in the next video.